Alrighty boys, wanted to share my experience with these factory uh, airbags. I'm coming across more and more videos mentioning them. So I figured um, people are curious, so why not? Um, I need to underline something. I only own one truck with a factory setup, which is this one. And then I own, I don't know, probably about 12 pickups with Firestone setups. Those are aftermarket setups and they're just bare bones Firestone setups. So what this, what, what the kit offers, and that's the only way I buy them, is a couple airbags and a little bit of plastic piping. That's all it is. Now you call it plastic hosing, piping, whatever. So the, the airbag, that's all the air reservoir there is. Shoot, let me fix this thing. So when I pump up the air, it goes, I'm talking about the aftermarket one. It goes right into the airbags and all, that's all you get. You could buy a kit that you could adjust an auto leveling system. It has a little air reservoir the tank and it's pretty cool. Um, I was always contemplating to, to do it on my truck. My, your longtime viewers know that I owned a 14 Ram. And the, the thing that I had in mind is to make sure that the, you know, air leveling system wasn't everything I was after. It, it's pretty cool, but it was my main goal. My main goal is to make sure I have a stout pump and put in a good size air tank. Um, so I could have a quick connect to the air tank. Then I could pump up tires or whatever I needed to do. So it would be a two-fold deal. So I don't know, call it two birds with one stone kind of scenario. That was my thought process as far as the Firestones go in a full kit. Now back to the video as far as a factory versus um, aftermarket. I've done some research on the factory. Not off internet, not off hearsay, but um, people I know and people we service. And I've talked to them about their factory setups, you know. To my surprise, I know I've said this before, the system looks very janky. The system looks very uh, looks very cheesy, in my opinion. Uh, before, I've said that I would not buy another, um, another truck equipped with factory suspension. But after my research with talking to people, owners that have owned it, to my surprise, no one has complained about the system, which I find very interesting. And the highest mileage one was like 283. There's an individual that has 283,000 miles on his truck. And then all he does is toes as well. So the system gets used. It gets used fairly well. And he had nothing but good things to say. So for you guys wanting to do the whole comparison and curiosity thing. Like, hey, should I do this? Should I not do it? You know, when you're ordering your truck, um, you know, at this point, today's day, you know, what is it, September of 19, I would order it with factory setup. I hated it when I was going through the process of lifting the truck. I was going to talk about this in the video, but I might as well give you the whole experience here. So my biggest issue is when you go factory airbags, you have a little issue with the with the, with the bags right here. But all, all I had to do is buy a 2-inch puck, and I'm super happy with it. As far as the back end, I would not do it any other way. Um, as far as the front end, now that we're talking about lifts, I have a, a spacer, which... It's a very efficient way to lift your truck, but still, this is not the way I would want to do it on the long run. Um, this was more of a test. This truck might be might be getting another front end system, or this truck might be replaced with another truck. I know I'm speaking a little too loud or too far ahead, but just so you guys know what I'm up against. Um, who, who's going to buy what, you know? People are more interested in saving themselves a buck but concerned about the system i'm going a little ahead and i'm very happy with that system but with the front end system for the money but initially you'd want a full coil i still get sketched out about the spacers but i did what i did for for experimental purposes and i don't know how long i'm gonna have this truck so that's my thing back to the factory as i said that's the issue i had it's probably an issue you're gonna run into just go out and buy those pucks uh, ready lift sells them two inch rear end oh for you guys curious how it's gonna look i ended up doing two and a half up front and two in the back and that's the stance you get the back end's a little taller it, i couldn't be happier for a working truck keep in mind guys i do everything with this truck i travel with my family i haul goosenecks i i do quite a bit it's it's quite the that one truck you know and i love it but anyways 
for the aftermarket airbags. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about those Firestones. I've only went through one set, or you could call it, I've only destroyed one set of airbags on those Firestones, and it was completely operator air. So the thing, the airline started leaking air, and the driver just kept driving. So he drove them on flat at, you know, aired out airbags for a little while and chewed them out and throw them out. So I have nothing but good things to say about Firestones. For all the years that I've ran those airbags, and let me tell you, I got airbags with, I don't know, north of 300,000 on them as far as mileage. And they're solid. They're doing good. You know, all I got to say is keep airing them and you'll be good. You know, obviously, if you go off-roading, make sure the rocks aren't somehow pinched in there. They're wearing, wearing out your uh, your bag itself. But other than that, really good on the Firestones. I think they're called Firestone Lift 5000. I think that's what they're called, but they're 5,000-pound airbags. All my systems are just the plain Jane airbags with the air nipple, like a tire valve nipple. I tie them into one. I do not separately pump them up. I just tie both lines into one because I don't have a camper that's, you know, heavy on one side versus the other. I have a goose ball and it has to handle the weight, so I feel like it's better for me. And especially how small those airbags are, it's really hard to get the exact pressure in them. But if, when you tee them together, it's, they just keep each other together. And even in a, in a quick, you know what I mean? A quick load on one side versus the other. Hold on a second. My boy needs some. So even when you, you know, hit one side really hard and you think it would go up because, you know, they share the same air. No, it, the the piping, or should I say the hosing, uh, works like a reservoir. It just slowly starts pumping into one side. So it's not like your truck's going to go all of a sudden and do this. Meaning rear axle is going to, one side's going to get shot all the way in. No, it'll take some time to, to transfer all the air from one airbag to the other but then you have the pressure that's still resisting so for me tying them and teeing them together works really good and that's the only way i would have it on my work trucks and um, yeah so as far as far as factory i've talked to real experienced uh, owners and they all have decent mileage but the highest one is 283 and then myself i i mean i only have 17,000 on this truck but one of the biggest concerns well two concerns like i'm repeating myself is it looks janky and cheesy and uh you know on the back the arms the plastic arms and uh but of course i have really low knowledge so seventeen thousand, they better not go out that's the short gist of it i hope this video helps to make up your mind um before i would steer you towards firestones um having a little bit of experience with these factory setup ones seems like the rams installed them long enough to where they've worked out the bugs um but yeah, on a side note, guys, if you always got to stick your nose probably where it don't belong, and guys, don't, don't get carried away with that. But these trucks with factory air suspension, they got a quick connect. So I'm like, oh, sweet. I'm going to build me a little hose so I could hook it up. Bull crap. It, at minimum, it does not let the air out. It might be just a one-way valve, like if you need an air bed, uh, you know, throw some air in the tank. So I couldn't deflate it. So... Only thing I could think of is possibly teeing off. I don't know. I'll find a way to get <laughs> to access that air, but I'm I'm afraid there's a lot of uh, like air dryer balls in there, like these white balls that absorb all the moisture. So hopefully I don't grenade anything. But if you want to do that quick connect, that ain't gonna work. You gotta come up with something on your own. At least that's what I learned. All uh, with time, all. At some point, get bored and look into it and take it apart. And I'll keep you all posted how that goes. If you could hook a tie into the factory um, air tank. And let me show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> Remember, like, earlier in this video, I was showing you. Hold on a sec. My girl's looking for me. Yes, Rachel? Earlier in this video, I told you I, I run the regular Firestones. But if I were to if I were to do an auto leveling, it would mostly be because of the tank. So, see, I'm right between the wheels right here. Where did this thing go? I thought the air tank was right. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> so that's your uh, suspension arm. So this tank right here. Just follow me, guys. <laughs> so right. Where is my creeper when I need it? <laughs> so once again, that's the front axle. You got your arm control, and then you got your tank right here. I wish I could zoom out for y'all. But right here, you got this nipple right 
just like an AC quick hookup, I had some air AC old hoses that, you know, I could just throw it on and open up the valve, and you just get, that's it. There's something inside blocking off the way. So that's what I was talking about. I'd really like to somehow manage to get a bigger tank in here if I could, and, you know, put in a, a quick connect so I could air up my uh, tires or whatever, but once again, I don't know how how stout the air pump is on these things, so... That's me, man. Always thinking of ways to mess with, with the systems that are already there. But, all right, I think I've uh, shared everything I had to share with y'all. And uh, as one working this truck, you know, I think I shared some ideas that I personally have. And I'm going to go through and try to still make it work. All right, boys. As always, may the Lord bless you. May y'all have a mighty fine day. And ciao. Bye.